guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'll be showing you guys how i write subwoof with a paintbrush and some ink so if you're wondering why i'm wearing a glove it's just because when i am using inks they tend to get all over my hands and fingernails so wearing a glove is just easier when working with them calligraphy I'm using the Dale Rowney mixed media pad which you can get from Hobbycraft. I'm also using the Dale Rowney flat shader brush to write my calligraphy today. All the supplies I'm using in this video will be listed in the description box below so if you do want to purchase any of them just check there. So I'm using two different types of inks today, they are both acrylic inks. This blue shade is from Liquitex and I will be using the blue shade for the main Arabic letters. And this red shade is from Dela Rowney. Um, I'm using two different shades today just because I wanted to show you guys the difference between the actual Arabic letters and the Harakat. I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you guys can see all the lettering clearly and I'm moving my inks out of the way just because I want to avoid any accidents happening. I'm working with a damp brush just because it's easier to move it across the page. So I'm going to start by writing the commencing letter so or sod. I'm going to begin by using a light hand to create a thin line going upwards which then curves towards the right and as it curves I will be using a heavier hand to change the thickness of the line. The easiest way to understand this is by watching so again just gonna start with a light hand going upwards and then curving towards the right but with a heavier hand so I get that difference of the thickness and feel free to go back in and fix up the lines of it as I'm doing here if you are using a paintbrush and mixed media pad like me you will be working with a bumpy surface so some of your edges might not be super super clean if you're not using plenty ink in your brush but you can always go back in and fix them. I'm now going to complete the letter swad by creating a slightly curved line with a heavy hand starting from the left to the right. So to achieve that thick line all I did was push down hard with my paintbrush and to do the opposite to get a thin line I just used a light hand. Again here I'm going over my lines, just making sure I've got a nice smooth edge to all my letters. The next letter we're going to write is Ba and I'm just reloading on some ink here so my apologies for my hand getting in the way. So to write the letter Ba I'm going to start off with a light hand going downwards and as I get to the bottom I'm going to apply some pressure with my brush creating a thicker line and then as I go upwards I'm going to lift my brush and then connect to the end of the swat. So again starting off with a light hand and as I reach the bottom of the curve pushing down to get a thicker edge and then lifting up with a light hand again. Now I'm just going to go over this line and I created a slight little curve at the top because this curve will join into the final letter. So now it's time to write the third and final letter which is Ra. And like I've just explained, I made that kind of hook shape which will help us transition into the last letter. So 
so to form the letter Ra, I will be making a small curve starting from the left and finishing at the right and from the left I'll start with a heavy hand and as I finish with the curve on the right side to connect it to the little hook I will be using a light hand just like that and now we can write our last stroke um, just refilling on some ink here just wanted to show you how much ink I actually use and I do actually wipe off all the excess just because if you do overload your brush you might just have a spillage on the page and ruin all your hard work so it's really important not to do that and you can see here how I'm going back and forth with the ink pot just because I'm actually testing how much ink I have on my brush by using a scrap piece of paper and just making some stroke marks and it's important to note that if you do have too much ink on your brush you'll end up with splodges or spillages but if you don't have enough ink on your brush your lines won't be clean or sharp they'll be bumpy and you'll have to go in and fix them I'll now be writing the top slash middle section of the letter Ra and what I'll be doing is starting from where we left off with a heavy hand and drawing a slight curve and finishing off with a light hand about there. So again I'm using a heavy hand here and I finished off with a light hand and that's how I got that really thin sharp line. I've just gone in for another ink reload so again my apologies for blocking the view so now it's time to write our last stroke which will finish off the letter Ra and again make sure you've got the correct amount of ink in your brush you may have noticed that throughout the video to form my strokes I often go from left to right this is just because if I do go from right to left the bristles of the brush break apart and then I got this huge mess on the paper. So to finish off the last stroke of the letter Ra, I will be creating a slightly curved shape from the left to the right and starting from the left I will have a heavier hand and as I finish off the curve towards the right to connect to the previous thin line we've made, I will finish with a light hand just so I can connect two thin lines together. So as you can see I'm using quite a heavy hand and then I'm moving my brush upwards with a light hand to create a flick which we have connected to the previous thin line. Now we've got all the letters on the page, it's now time to add the harakat which is just short vowel marks. I'm going to wash my brush because I will be using the red ink to write the harakat. This way you can clearly see the difference between the letters and the vowels. So now my brush is nice and clean, I'm just gonna get my red ink and load up my brush with that and for the harakat we're just writing one symbol which is just one nukta which will complete the letter ba you can see some movement here behind the scenes just because i am patch testing my strokes because i'm using a red ink i just want to make sure there's no blue ink left in my brush to do so I'm just creating some strokes on a scrap piece of paper making sure it's only red ink I see. And to write one nukta I am just gonna get my flat brush and draw a really really short line um, making sure that the shape looks like a square. And this is why the flat brush is perfect for this, just because it's really easy to make square shapes, as you can see. 
and that's it guys i hope this video was fun for you to watch and hopefully you've learned some new things on how to use a brush for calligraphy if you do want to see more videos on how to write calligraphy with a paintbrush or even how to create some arabic calligraphy paintings just click the subscribe button and give this video a like thank you guys for watching